for me education was not finishing my masters and graduation and my education is over for me it's been constant and sustained learning and it's also acquisition but through two three methods number one is through our five senses the five senses are as i see as i hear as i smell as i taste and as i touch why i'm saying this because you've not had rani jhansi going to your school you never had shivaji going to her former school you probably didn't even have chanakya going to school but you got the chanakya niti from him which school did they go to which university did they go to? they created institutions so what i'm saying is they, but they were using all our five senses so i will tell you why i'm saying this because this is where we need to go to this is what education for me is how do our children absorb and understand the values of these five sensory organs then these five doorways go through two three h the head the heart and the hands so once all this what we do stores here is a memory and if we keep sharpening it beautifully it becomes intelligence then we it goes through a heart which brings the emotional quotient and then it brings the hand where we use the skills this is understanding the value of our system of our body sadguru has been remark always been saying the two things are very important in life is time and energy if those of us who use our time well evolve those who are using the energy generated through these h and the five sensories emerge as a uh, joyous human beings but those of us who abuse this time we let the energy be dissipate, dissipated are the ones who are losers in life but we always are complaining so this for me is education teach the teach your children two things the covid lesson number one is life is uncertain enjoy the now learn teach them to live in the present and the kind of climate changes we are having and the disasters coming kabhi typhoon waha or hurricane waha ya cyclone waha nahi now situation is very very different teach the children the fact and reality of uncertainty and secondly is before they think of wealth they must value health i think these two three lessons and third thing is be grateful for what you have life is uncertain so only guarantees today so do your right thing of the five senses today use your time correctly today use your energy correctly today use your head head heart and the hands rightly today when comes tomorrow it will be another today one day at a time let it be today and i think and grateful for what till went on till yesterday when the child's attitude is right well these the priorities are right understanding of realities are right nothing stops from the child from being a high achiever and earning a wonderful livelihood and living a beautiful life